In 2018, Europe managed to have one of its best results internationally. Vitality just missed out on making it to groups, G2 making it to semi-finals and Fnatic finals. And they will represent in the world final. It was one of Europe's proudest moments, only to be matched the following year with the now legendary G2 roster also making it to finals. Since then, however, the gap between Europe and the Korean and Chinese leagues has been growing. It is clear that something changed from the end of 2019 up until this point for us to fall behind. This year, the only one keeping up the standards was kind of G2, but because of G2 never had this rival that's going head to head with them, they might have like stayed on the same level. 2023 season champion! At the end of the day, those teams are just so consistent and they're like so good at what they're doing. That's why, you know, it always looks so rough. But I think if you play your own game that you want to play, I think, you know, like anything can happen. We did kind of good in rebuilding in those two splits and now we're kind of at this level where we have the baseline. We need to keep looking and investing into how we practice and everything. Catching up to G2, pushing each other and then we can start to be more of a rival for the Asian teams. Usually there's like one or two teams from Asia that have like a really good tournament and they just stomp everyone. The third, fourth teams are beatable, like for sure. They are like kind of similar to strength as, as the European or, or NA teams, I would say. Maybe a bit better. Last year it was only Rogue who managed to go to quarters and the quarters didn't look as hot as we would like it to. But with Rogue when we went 3-0 and nobody expected it, I think. Why would we go to Waters if we don't believe we can win? I think everyone believes that we can do a really good showing at Waters. I think everyone believes on themselves. And I think the audience, the fans, obviously need to believe that Europe can win Waters. They're kind of long run tournaments, right? It always depends on how the team can adapt and how they shape themselves. I think you're really grateful when your fate stays in, you know, and the team suddenly, you know, just showcases that they're able to fight. I still believe and I think Europe can still become like top four or achieve top four team at Worlds. I always wanted to come to LAC and to be the best, to get Waters in my first year. Like, it's really insane. Just playing Waters, it's an insane experience. Hopefully we'll be able to showcase more and, you know, at least go to quarterfinals and, you know, try to go from there. It's not the final goal. The final goal is obviously to be the best. Making it work in the fight, but all eyes on this key and he cannot find the angle. Noah still stands. Fnatic, it's over. We're still standing. In the Midlands series, I think we had more people cheering for us than them. I think it helped us for sure to play better. Slowly but surely burning them down, but it's Razor on the back side. And Razor oh. getting it in. Fnatic, they just pull the trigger better. When like you're a bit shaky under a lot of stress, then if the crowd is behind you, you will become confident. And then sometimes clicking and you're like, oh, I did flash this, how? Just playing against the best, I think it's the most fun thing you can do, like be challenged. Everyone's just going to try hard and do their best. In miraculous fashion, Fnatic find themselves in the finals. We're not there to expect that we're going to win everything. That's not expectations right now. We have to showcase that we're able to fight back. And that's something that I think every team, at least from Europe, is aspired to. And if not, then they better be, because otherwise it will not be good for us.